Considered the king of Pinot Noir by his admirers, Henri Jaillet was acclaimed as an exceptional wine grower. His vintages are among the world's most expensive, and on the 17th of June in Geneva, his last bottles go under the hammer. It was Henri Jaillet's personal cellar. These wines have never moved from Henri Jaillet's estate. His daughters inherited a piece of French heritage, you could say, and they've decided to share this heritage with people who want to continue to discover Henri Jaillet's wines. Henri Jaillet's reputation began to skyrocket in the late 70s. His bottles ranked among the best in the world. He came up with a wine aesthetic that corresponded to a paradigm shift in people's tastes, those who were often disappointed by Burgundy. And when they tasted Henri Jaillet's wines, they said, wow, it's so good. You have all the grace of Pinot, all the delicacy, structure and aromatic finesse. He had done everything to preserve that. In total, 855 bottles and 209 magnums will be put up for sale. Prices range from 2,700 euros for a bottle of Nuit Saint-Georges, 97 to 240,000 euros for a set of 15 magnums from the wine grower's favorite plot, Croix Parentou. Prices that are in line with market conditions but have surprised some specialists. There is an undeniable effect in speculation, in collecting, in heritage, having these last vestiges of heritage, the relic side of things. And if I have to give advice, I would say if you want to take a little risk and you are game, then go ahead. I don't know if the game is really worth it. It's you who will see because it is you who will open the bottle. Each of these precious bottles will be protected by a specific seal guaranteeing the origin and authenticity of its contents. This should reassure American, Asian and European collectors competing for the last treasures of the so-called Master of Burgundy.